Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Sip City. Oh, my God. Look at how we're doing well. I mean, come on. It's only been one episode. We're doing really well. We've got a lot of industry belching shit into the air at an alarming rate over here. We've got a little bit of commercial set up in the middle. And we've got our, our nice little neighborhood here of, uh, of, of low wealth, uh, low density residentials. Look at this. The Kelly residence. Jane resident. Oh, look at this. The Shamaka residence. Holy shit. We've got everybody living it up uh, in this little square of our fair city. Uh, today, we want to try to get our oil well set up. Set up and drilling so that we can start um, exporting oil out of the trade depot and make it even more money. We're, uh, we're currently in the green. We're making a lot of money here. We're making um, just over a thousand bucks an hour. We've got 26,000 bucks in the bank, uh, which is very good. Uh, we're gonna have to take out a loan though to uh, to build this oil well, which we'll do in a minute. Let's just uh, take a look and see where most of the oil is. Oh my god, look at this oil. Jesus. There's just a ton of oil here. We'll probably be able to get a full refinery uh, or oil extracting building set up here, uh, fully upgraded. This area here probably sustain that. And we should be able to get another one up here eventually, and then one and two, yeah, probably two more in here. So we should have like, at in the end, we should have four of these suckers, literally just sucking all of this oil out of the earth and making us a shit ton of money. Maybe be able to get the uh, petroleum HQ as well, which is uh, which is always nice. Okay, so let's go high density road straight away. We're gonna get this high density street. And we're going to branch off the highway here, and we're going to set up our first oil well. God, this is exciting. Uh, well, I don't... I guess it doesn't really need to be high density, actually, because it's only people traveling to work uh, and the actual oil delivery truck. We want to have it... Um, we want to connect it to this trade depot, uh, which it will be. It'll have to go travel along the highway, come down here, and yeah, that'll be fine. I'm just, I'm just being a bit pedantic. We, we don't need to worry about all that right now. Okay, so I've still got it in square mode from last time, actually. Let's put it into straight mode for the roads. And we'll build a street here like this. And then we'll have it come over like this. And then we'll build the, the oil factory thing a majig here. That'll be fine. Let's close this overlay. Oh, look at this. Look at it. It's going to be nice. It's going to be right near Town Hall. Uh, eventually, when Town Hall is super upgraded, you'll be able to look out on the oil fields of Sip City. Everybody is going to be so excited and happy for this moment. It's going to be fantastic. Okay, I'm going to close this data map. I'm going to go into my budget panel, and I'm going to take out a bond. Bond A. We're going to take out a bond for 25 big ones. We're going to have to only pay 173 bucks an hour back, which we can totally afford. So that's fine. Just gives us a little cash injection so that we can set up some more stuff. Great. I'm accepting. Man, it's going to take a little while to pay that back, but that's okay. It's fine. You don't want to have too many bonds outstanding because uh, that can cripple you as well. Uh, I'm just saying. Okay, so let's go into city specialization. Let's go into drilling. And let's get an oil well set. Oh, look at this. 178.42k barrels. My god. Holy shit. This is going to be great. This is going to be so good. All right. There we go. The oil well is down. We can go back to city view. There's oil underground. The city isn't doing a fracking thing about it. That's right. Petroleum. Why use the sun when you can have fun with the... Oh, I, I, I missed it. I missed what it said. And I think it was quite funny, too, because I've read it before, but I just can't remember what it says now. That's a real shame. Okay, oil well. Closed. Now hiring. So we got to wait for chumps to turn up to work here. Um, when they do turn up to work and start um, pumping the oil out of the earth, we're going to need somewhere to ship it to. So that's where the trade depot comes into play. Let's edit the trade depot. And, uh, oh, I forgot to give this sign. Oh, look at this fantastic trade depot sign. Okay, let's start with that. We're going to give the trade depot a nice sign. Uh, we're also going to want to create these crude oil storage lots. There we go. Let's put one on the side here. So we don't waste too much space. Great. So now the trade depot can uh, can hold this crude oil. Uh, not not a, an awful lot of it, but enough of it. Look at that. 2,000 barrels of crude oil. We're going to accept local crude oil deliveries. That's fine because we have our oil well set up now. 
Uh, and now that we can store this stuff, we can, uh, we can manage deliveries on the global market. So if we want to make money from oil drilling straight away, which we definitely do, we don't need to use it uh, locally for anything at the moment. We don't have any factories that can use it for anything. So we're going to export it. Every thousand barrels that we export, we get 4,500 bucks. Great. I mean, once we get this oil well up and running, we're going to be... We're going to be creaming it, basically. We're going to be making tons of money. It's going to be great. For now, we'll probably get a, a little bit of cash every couple of minutes, well, which will be good. Well, look at this. This guy's he wants to talk to me. Look at this. There he is. Look, he's behind the pipe. One, one oil well is great, but did you know that you could buy more? You can even extend the service row and build some oil wells in other areas. Try it out. Okay. Ask me later, and we will. We're not going to do it straight away. Uh, because the goddamn thing isn't even open yet. Look at this. They're still hiring people. We're still waiting for people to turn up uh, and start working here. Oh, look. There's a couple of cars coming in. Not enough. Uh, we don't have too, too much industrial demand. So there should be enough people to start working here. We might need to get some more residents. Where are these people going? No, go to the factory. Where? Why did you just come all the way down the street just to turn around and go back home? But maybe... Maybe they failed the job interviews. Maybe they just got calls like halfway uh, to the oil well from the manager saying, no, sorry, you filled all the positions for the oil well. We don't need you. We've hired a crack team of supermodels to work in our oil well, and, uh, and we're not going to give you guys any jobs. We're importing them all from Sweden, from the uh, Swedish uh, bikini uh, modeling team, and none of these people in Sip City uh, will get jobs now. It's so unfair. Good God. There's so many cars have arrived at the oil well, and still... It's still closed. There's still not enough people working. Okay, well, let's plop down some more uh, residential for now anyway uh, while we wait for the oil well to start um, producing gold from the earth. Black gold, uh, as as people like to call it. I don't I don't really like to call it that, but but there you go. Other people do, so I'm just going to go along with what they what they say because other people are always right in my opinion. Um, no, they're not. But uh but anyway. <coughs> so, more residential should be enough residential to actually get this oil well up and running that would be very nice it'd be very nice to uh to see the oil getting pumped out of the earth extracted from the earth it's its native home uh, and then put into these big cylinders and then sold to people who like to rub their hands together and have big dollar signs in their eyes at all times uh, their eye their, their eyeballs are just sort of dollar signs in themselves because all they think about is making tons of money off this oil. And it's it's true, you can. You can make a lot of money off oil. Uh, in real life and, and in game. One of those rare things where it actually works the same in real life as it does in game. So if you want to become an oil baron in real life, that's all you need. All you need is one of these suckers right here. One oil well. And, and then you're off. You probably need to get like some permission to like set it up and to start drilling the oil and you'd probably need a couple of people who knew how to actually use the oil well unless you yourself are some sort of like engineer or something in which case then uh, you'd probably be okay i don't know if you can single-handedly run uh, an oil empire though i think you you probably do need quite a few resources and quite a few people at your disposal but I could be wrong. What well, I don't even know what I'm talking about because my only experience with extracting oil from the earth is from playing SimCity uh, in 2013. So there you go. <laughs> wow. Um, more residential? Do we need more residential? We probably do. Uh, health looks like uh, it could be a bit of a problem, although it's coming up red saying that there's a problem, but actually there's just a couple of people who have broken their arms by horsing around in their houses, just having way too much fun out in the burbs here. Um, and you tend to. I mean, I grew up in the suburbs, and I used to have a fantastic time, like, all the time. I never broke any bones, but excitement levels, let me tell you, did get quite high, and uh, and there was potential for bone breaking. Um, luckily, though, there were no, no bones broken. Okay, let's check this overlay and see what the fuck is going on with this, because it's now yellow. It's uh, It's been downgraded from quote, oh look, now it's not a concern anymore, just because three people died, that's it. They were just trying to alert me to the fact that three people died. See, these are past events, look, deaths, past events. So all these people horsing around in their bungalows, breaking their arms, 
Uh, and because there's no health service, uh, obviously the gangrene spread from their arms across their whole bodies uh, to the point where all their families had to move out because they stunk so bad and they were left to just die. They were left to rot away and die in their houses. Look at that. This, this, the scene of three deaths. All these people are running around the neighborhood panicking because these people have died. Uh, but it's likely... Oh, look. People are dying all around us. Yeah, look, look at the panic. Everybody's going nuts. It's likely that other people will just move into those houses now. So we don't need to worry too much about it. We don't actually need to worry about services uh, for a little while. And probably the first thing we'll set up is a fire department. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't even notice. I was so busy gassing. Look at this. Oh, look. Look at this. We're, we're pumping out 200 barrels a day. Look, we've already got 200 barrels stored as well. Oh, wow. Do we have any in the trade depot yet? No, they're not bringing any. Usually what they do is they wait until there's about 500 uh, barrels being stored and then they'll uh, and then they'll start moving it over here. And once we get a thousand barrels, uh, that'll be our first delivery and our first injection of 4,500 big ones uh, as a result of drilling oil. Fantastic. God, that's great. Uh, let's put the sign up for the oil well now that it's working. Let's put it here. It's going to look really cool. Look at this. Look at that. General Oil Company the nice logo of an oil well just actually absolutely erupting all over the place look at that Blah! there's oil everywhere everybody is having a great time having a bath in oil and uh, and just you know putting their hands in oil and rubbing them together vigorously uh, and everybody loves oil I love oil do you love oil let me know you let me know um, so, we got an oil pump jack that we can build, uh, and that's going to produce an extra 1,200 barrels a day. So, we're already producing up to 200. That number's going to go up because there's, look at this, there's two pump jacks. It costs 30 bucks an hour to run one of these, which is not too bad, uh, but it costs, also costs 10,000 bucks to place in the first place. Uh, but well worth it. We want to extract a lot of oil, so we're going to build two of these, actually. We've got the money to do it, so why not, right? We're going to get a lot of oil pumping out here, and uh, the money that we're going to make off the back of it is going to be great. Uh, when we're ready to expand and create more of these pump jacks, we're going to have to create some service roads, which uh, we can probably start planning right now. So look, we can just sort of weave it around here, have it come at the back, we can get two more pump jacks here, and uh, we could probably have it come down here a little bit as well for now, and that should be fine. Uh, it's it's going to be a little while before we get more pump jacks, so we'll uh, we'll come back to that and uh, and fix it later on. Come out of there, we're back on llama speed. Oh my god, and uh, things are looking up. The layout of the city hasn't changed much since the last episode, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna be making money now, uh, more money than we have been anyway. And as demand rises for more residential and industrial, we'll keep uh, we'll keep on with that, and uh, and we'll keep making more money uh, just from taxes, and then eventually we'll start making a ton of money from oil. My god, look at this. 600 barrels a day. That's nuts. Well, there should be some here. Look at this. Oh no, not yet. Where's the delivery? We're missing a ton of oil. The delivery truck must be around here somewhere. Where is it? Can we see it? Has it just arrived? It arrived. Look at that. 500 barrels of oil sitting in these tanks. Look at that. They're not even like close to being full. We got tons of room for, for more. It's going to be great. Fantastic. Okay, let's start fulfilling some of this demand now then. We need residential, uh, which we can add on to here. Oh, look at this. Look at, oh, we can put it like a park in there or something. That's going to be good. Uh, let's get this lined up. Pro oh, God, the squares. Come on, squares. What are you doing? Why, why are you doing this to me? Why, why you got to be like this? Squares. I can never get these squares to work. Look at this. We're going to have to do it from this side. No, it doesn't. Look, it doesn't like it. It's because I'm just like clicking on the wrong part in this intersection, I think. Do I have to like click like here? No? Okay, forget it. We're not We're not going to do it. We're, we're going to start waving, curving roads around and stuff. It's going to be great. Okay, let's put some residential in there. Let's put some residential in there. We're going to need to get some parks and stuff because I think there's going to be before long demand. For, oh, look at this. There's already a lot of demand for um, medium wealth residential. Um which we can easily fulfill just by upgrading the land value of this area. And the way to do that is with uh, parks. Parks, sports parks, nature parks. If you want to get super rich people, you can make plazas and formals and stuff like that. Uh, the parks are kind of... 
mixed feelings, to be honest, about the parks in this game. I, I thought that they were pretty cool at first, and I mean, they are kind of cool, but they just don't seem to like fit in properly. I don't know, maybe you guys have had better luck with this, but every time I seem to place a park, it just looks a little bit out of place. It doesn't like fit well with the buildings somehow, or the buildings when they build around them. I don't know, it's got this like funny texture on the bottom, like some weird like manicured grass, which doesn't fit in with the rest of the landscape either. But I mean, those are just small complaints. I mean, th they are totally functional. See, look, this tall tree row, we get this short tree row, and look at these, you can like sort of have them, if you can place them properly. It's not letting me, but look, Oh, there we go, look. See, we can have it, like, place along the side, like that, or we can have it this other way, if it lets me. It's a little bit fussy sometimes. Uh, but once you place one of those, I mean, if you have a really big square, like, say we wanted to place it here, uh, we could place it here, and then once it's placed down, you can actually edit it and plop down more stuff beside it, which is kind of cool. So you can make, like, these, like, little complex parks, uh, which is kind of neat. I, I find that kind of neat. Um, and it means that uh, you don't need to, because everything's like with plot points now, right? You have to like put stuff down on a plop point, uh, which is a great term, like plop. You get to say the word plop a lot, which is always good for me. I like, I like to say that word quite often. Um, but so your initial plot point is always going to be a along a road. But if you wanted the park to stretch out further than the roads and like, I mean, we could make a whole bunch of these like tall tree things and we can connect it to like the, the oil well and people could use that as like a pedestrian walkway to get to the oil well. Why you would do that, I have no idea. It's kind of a dumb idea, but you can do it. So if you ever want to do it, go ahead and do it. It'll be great. Uh, and send me the results of, of you doing that and let me know if people walk to work because, well, you're, you're about to see that congestion becomes a real problem. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Traffic congestion just goes nuts after a while. And, you know, if you can figure out ways of getting people not to use their cars, it, it's always a good thing. Look at this! My god! 1,425 barrels a day. Oh, oh, my god. Oh, we need way more than that, though, if we want to specialize in oil. Look at this. To get this petroleum HQ approved, we need to extract 9,600 barrels of crude oil in a day. We've only done 800 so far. That's that's our best. So, a little bit of work there before we become the uh, petroleum HQ of the entire world. Not a problem, though. It's okay. We'll get there eventually. All right, let's place some residential. Look, I forgot to place some down along the sides here. Great. We can also place some like this. Oh, no, not too close, though. Oh, shit. I hope that City Hall is going to be able to expand with this here. I kind of forgot about that. It should be okay, actually, because um, once City Hall gets upgraded, we can make the, the little, they have those like little sort of square things that jut off the side of it, uh, unless you want to make the Department of Education, which is like its own building, but we can make that off in the corner here or something. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Look at this. It's garbage. There's garbage everywhere. Oh, we have just enough money to make a garbage dump. 300 bucks an hour. We're going to have to do it, though, unfortunately. We're going to have to make it in this cruddy part of town, too. Um, let's have another intersection. Uh, no, let's not, actually. Let's have the intersection connect with this one. This is going to be great. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. Oh, there we go. Look, now we've got a nice intersection there that connects with the rest of the industrial lot. And now we can put this garbage dump down. Uh, we're going to put it right here. It's kind of close to town. That's okay, though. We can get an incinerator. We can burn all of the garbage. And then eventually we can get, like, a recycling center on, up and stuff. And and who knows? I mean, eventually, once we make, like, another city, we may be able to just ship all this garbage off to, like, another city. That'd be pretty good. But for now, these people are very desperate to have their garbage collected. It's becoming a little bit of a problem. We have the capacity for it. Um, we just need to start picking it up. Look, we're, we're collecting currently zero out of 354 garbages across the city so basically it's just like a sea of garbage out there all these people living in sip city are complaining because it fucking stinks garbage all over the place there's probably garbage just piled up beside these people's houses they're having to put it into the trunks of their cars and taking around and that's that's not the position you want to be in because once people start taking matters into their own hands and start dumping their garbage in places that you haven't designated as designated as a garbage dumping zone 
trust me, that's when shit really hits the fan. You know, you, you, you don't want people like coming to s town hall and being like, oh, look at this dumpster. It's not at full capacity. Maybe I can just use this as my full my full time garbage dump. Uh, and then before you know it, there's just fucking garbage everywhere here. Look, this dumpster will be overflowing. There'll be garbage bags all along the back here. All these lovely politicians who are trying to come in and push legislation and do their work are just going to be able to smell rotting garbage out back of City Hall because basically Sip City has turned into a city of vigilantes. Vigil uh, garbage vigilantes. All they want to do is get rid of their garbage uh, and they'll do whatever it takes to get rid of it. But luckily... We've circumvented all that by, by creating a garbage dump, which is currently holding no garbage. Because <laughs> I don't think the shift has started yet. Oh no, I'm lying. Look at this. We've got our two garbage trucks dutifully touring the city, collecting all the garbage. Look, there's even garbage at, at the town hall that needed to be collected. Oh, they're doing such a good job. Look at this. We can slow it down. We can watch what these fuckers are doing. What are you doing? garbage truck oh look he just came from tin from tin hall no from town hall look he's collecting all the garbage this guy's going to look at oh look he's got they've got a capacity of five tons that's pretty cool i never noticed that before look we can actually follow him oh look at this look at this guy go it's garbage collection simulator 2013 look at all these kids They're like yay it's like the ice cream truck oh look you can actually see the garbage Look at that's amazing! God, the little details in this game are so good. So there we go. We're collecting the garbage. We're going to be the talk of the town. Well, we always are because we're the mayor, to be fair. But even more so now. So, um, we should probably get a uh, clinic set up at some point. Because it sounds like a lot of people are dying. Uh, yeah, God. Look at all these people that are dying. We could prevent these deaths. By creating this health clinic and actually we can afford it now too uh it's 400 bucks an hour twenty thousand bucks uh to, to plop down in the first place but probably well worth it let's place it along here along this busy avenue here um we need to give it a little bit of room in case we want to expand uh that's fine so it's on this high density street and along this avenue so people should be able to get to it that should be fine i'll increase it back to llama speed which i totally forgot to do uh, so that we can watch the money pour in. Now look at that. Our money per hour has been halved because of that. But it's worth it. Our health coverage is very good. It'll mean that the land values will start going up. And uh, God, we've actually got demand for medium residential, don't we? Yeah, we do. Oh, we should probably think about putting some parks down. All right, let's put our first park down. And get this, get this going. Oh, look at this. This is like big enough. I've made these squares big enough so that we can actually provide pedestrian roads like through the neighborhood we're gonna have to knock down a couple of houses to do it two houses but look at the coverage look at the coverage all these people are gonna benefit from this one pedestrian walkway and there we go look it's almost connected it's not quite but look at see what i mean like look at the texture and stuff it's not it's not ideal it doesn't really fit i don't find it really fits in there very well uh, but it does the job look at we've already got some medium wealth people moving in because the land value has skyrocketed around here oh look at this an actual proper bungalow and uh, like a proper house too oh look that one's got a garage and it's like the golden girls house imagine the golden girls house was was like this in the show it was just like this nice little bungalow like nestled in between a trailer park uh, with a big water tower in the background I don't know if it would have the same gusto that the original series had if that was the case. Oh, look at this! Where's the shopping in this town? Well, I can assure you there is shopping in this town if you don't mind doing all of your shopping at a gas station at Bex Bros. Come on. You know you want to. You can make the walk as well. Look, you're not too far. Just walk down this road, down this really busy high-density street, and then onto this really shitty six-lane avenue, and you can buy everything that you've ever dreamed of at Bex Bros Gas. Oh my god. Or you could just maybe, if you're hungry, after you're done at Bex Bros, you can go to Tequira to Burrito Zone. We're making a lot of profit. I bet you are. Fuck. If I lived in Sip City, I'd be there every day, multiple times a day. It'd be fantastic. Okay, so land value has gone up, but not as much as we had hoped it would. Uh, so we're going to have to put some more parks down. Uh, so short tree rows, maybe. Uh, this side here. And now, now with these two overlapping each other, 
Land value will definitely go up. So let's have it... Let's have it sort of where this other one was, like here. Uh, those houses will be able to rebuild themselves, but it's a nice way to get from that side of the neighborhood to the other side of the neighborhood without having to drive. Look, everybody's super happy now. Look at that. We placed it. It doesn't quite line up, but it doesn't really matter. Look at all of these medium residences going up. My God, look, the ambulance has turned up. Like 20 people just got into that ambulance. Maybe it was like the family and extended family. Like maybe somebody broke their arm and like all the uncles and aunts and grandparents and everybody just decided that they needed to come down to the clinic in the ambulance because they'd never been in an ambulance before. It's very exciting. Not so much for the person who's been injured, but if you've never been in an ambulance before and you get to travel in an ambulance with an injured loved one, pretty exciting shit. I gotta say, I mean, I'd be up for that. No, I wouldn't actually. I don't want anyone to get hurt, but... Ambulances are pretty cool. I used to want to be an ambulance when I was younger. I used to always say, when I grow up, I want to be, uh, like, physically, actually, an ambulance. Because I, th I always thought that'd be cool. Everybody else wanted to be, like, a dinosaur or whatever. Not me. Not old Sipsy. It was all about the ambulance. That's what I wanted to be. Good God. Okay, so... Things are looking up in suburbia. We've got a couple of medium wealth residences popping up there. How are we doing with oil? 3,975 barrels a day. We're probably fairly rich. Look at that. We've got nine grand in the bank. We're still making lots of money. We've got a thousand barrels of oil in the trade depot just waiting to be sold. Every time a thousand of those sells, don't forget we're making 4,500 bucks. So pretty soon, coffers are going to be even richer. We still only have 447 people in, in Sip City, and traffic is becoming a bit of a problem now, too. Look at this. All the people that have moved in have now decided that they're going to uh, jump in their cars and go buy a burrito, and uh, and the roads just cannot handle it. Look at this. What a mess. God. It's a gridlock. It's absolute gridlock. We're going to have to get some buses. Um, probably not the best time to get buses right now, because we're still, um, we're still sort of very young, very young city uh, who doesn't need mass transit at this point, um, but it'll get there. Eventually, we're, we'll definitely need buses. Okay, so medium residential demand is now going down. We're now seeing some demand for medium commercial zones as well, medium wealth commercial zones. We're going to have to get some parks in behind these now as well. Um, man, maybe we should get a pond. What's this one? Wavy tree line walkway. I think this is like a bit shorter than these ones. I can, I can never remember actually. It was this one, tree lined walkway. Wow, look at the radius on this. It's pretty enormous actually. Okay, let's set this up here or here. Do we want it here? I think here is fine. There we go. Ah, see, look at that. Look at this. Everybody shop now. New big box stores offer great deals on huge sacks of tube socks, flats of bottled water, and 36 packs of toilet paper. Oh, fantastic. So just placing this tree line walkway now has spruced up this entire uh, commercial area here. Look, all of these are now uh, medium wealth, which is very good. There was demand for medium wealth. And actually the stores look better. So instead of just having like 10 burrito stores and gas stations, we're going to have even nicer gas stations and maybe uh, instead of burrito stores we're going to have I don't know Dairy Queens or something maybe just like a whole bunch of Tim Hortons that'd be good do I want to learn about wealth and land value no I, I mean I basically just almost done a little tutorial on it myself uh, for everybody so I don't really need to learn much more about it although I'm probably missing stuff if I'm missing anything as usual just let me know I, I do read comments so you know if, if there's any ideas that you have or suggestions or things that you think I'm doing wrong just let me know I'll go through them and uh, and SimCity is the kind of game where you're, you're always chopping and changing and sort of microing uh, micro changing stuff anyway, so that's fine. It'd be perfect. You you just let me know. You let old Sipsy know. It'll be fine. Okay. Well, that's probably enough. Actually, uh, episode two. This has been my God. Um, we're off to a fantastic start. In two episodes, uh, we haven't done an awful lot. It's got to be said. But we do have the foundations for making a shit ton of money uh, with this oil well here. Uh, look at all the money we have in the bank. We're doing very well money wise uh, per hour. And, uh, and we'll be able to expand the oil well, uh, probably next episode, get even more barrels of oil pumping out uh, at an alarming rate, selling it all, making cash. Um, I think the next step for Sip City is going to be education. We're going to want to put a school down, going to want to get coverage for that school, get a lot of people uh, learned 
Uh, and once they start learning and we can start building colleges and universities, we can upgrade all of this shitty industry into like high tech industry. We can make processors, TVs, plastics and all that kind of stuff. And then we can think about uh, the great work site. Uh, in the meantime, we'll, uh, we'll also concentrate on getting commercial built up. Uh, town hall upgraded and and all the other shit we need to do. I think utilities be the first upgrade we go for for town hall Because uh, then we can get you know uh, the big water pumps uh, We can get I think the recycling center as well, which is quite good. It'll help us make plastics and stuff uh, and uh, And we can eventually go to an oil power plant as well so that we don't need to worry about plopping down fucking water towers and shit every five minutes as the city grows uh, We'll just have like massive capacity for all that. Okay, so as usual. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time